Good morning, good morning. Okay, here we are. This is how far we've come along with our 77 year old bra pattern using 90 year old yarn or thread. So excited. So let me put you on my little phone stand here. Okay. So when I was, I mean, we're really close to being done. We just have to do the bottom band and I'm debating whether or not I want to do the decorative ruffle up here. I feel like it might show through shirts, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it on anyways, actually. And if I don't like it, I'll take it off. But I wanna make the bra as is. The only modification I really made to it was instead of doing slip stitches here, I did my single crochet. I really, really like the way that turned out. I really think that turned out really nice and streamlined looking with the single crochet, but okay. So I Googled, what does endways mean? Because as you know, right here, it says to do four treble in the next endways treble or chain four. So I Googled, what does endways mean? The only references I can find to the term endways was in woodworking. And in woodworking, the way they describe an endways is here you have an end, and if there wasn't anything attached here, you'd have an end. The endways would be this area here. So that makes total sense because they say to make three treble and the next, wait, what does it say? You have to make three treble stitches in the endways treble, four treble in the next endways treble or chain four. So they want me to put three treble right here in this treble here because this ends with just a, a row of treble crochet or I'm using British terms at this point my goodness double crochet just a row of double crochet so they want you to put three double crochet into the side area I imagine I'm gonna just go through the loop of course I'm not gonna go through the actual stitch that would be a headache then they want you to put four in these and it says to do that 23 times but like I said yesterday I put um, extra rows on mine so that I can actually wear it because and one day I will put myself on camera I promise and very soon as a matter of fact here I'm gonna I'm gonna film um, something really fun in a few days to make a little filming nook for myself and I will be on camera like more than just my hands but I am about 160 pounds. I am five foot four and I am a C cup. So I needed to add more rows because I am a curvier girl. So on this one where the buttons will be sewn onto, oh shoot, you know what? I need to undo this whole last row here and make that solid. I didn't wanna sew buttons onto all this loose stitches. I'll go back and do that. Um, but this is the row where you attach the buttons and then this is the buttonhole row. So with the buttonhole row, because I wanted it to have a little bit of like overlap, I put 32 total rows and on the one where the buttons will be stabilized to or sewn onto, I put 30 rows. So instead of doing this, what do they say, do it, 24 times I will be doing it till the end I mean when they say 24 times they essentially mean to the end because then they say to put three treble crochet in here and then put three double crochet I'm just gonna use our terms double crochet all along the bottom until you get to this point then it has some more instructions so what I'm gonna do off camera real quick is fix this. I need to make this a solid row right here so that my buttons have something to actually hold on to because these are kind of loose roly-poly stitches here. I don't feel comfortable sewing buttons onto this. So I'll be right back. I'm gonna do this off camera. Okay, so I just finished. Here's what I decided to go with. <clears throat> I went with a 
Oops, it's kind of curly. I went with a row of double crochet, two rows of half double crochet, and then a row of double crochet because in the pattern it says that in the first double crochet I need to make three double crochet. So I wanted to make sure that I stayed true to that and it looks really good and look at how stiff it is now. It's, it's gonna be great for sewing buttons onto, whereas this, not so great. This, look at the difference. Yes, in my opinion, this just seems to make more sense to me. And I love the way it looks on the end there. It looks really nice and cleaned up. Okay. So here is what I think the pattern means based on the definition of endways that I looked up. Again, I found nothing related to crochet with the term endways, but I found plenty related to woodworking. And it all said the same thing. This is the endways. These are the ends. This is the end way. Makes sense actually. Okay, so we're going to chain, what does it say? Chain three, one, two, and three. And in this first double crochet, you know what though? Ooh, I got kind of a mess. I'm going to have to work. I got to get creative with this. Okay. Got to get, you start playing with the pattern, going off the beaten path. You got to figure it out. You got to adapt. So make three, there we go. And then I'm supposed to make four in the next. So they're assuming this one right here will, for me will be the next and that does make sense because the chain three makes your first double crochet. So essentially we have four here on the end. So I'm gonna have to get creative And I'm just gonna start putting, I'm gonna treat this like it is a chain four, because they're when they say chain four, they mean these chains right here on the end, these chain fours right here. So I'm gonna treat this, these this two rows of half doubles like a chain four, and I'm just gonna put four stitches in it somehow. Put one here. Call that two. Found a little spot right there. Call that three. And you know what? I'm gonna call this number four. Even though it is a double crochet, I'm gonna call it four. Ooh, that's ugly. I don't like anything about any of that. Okay. I'm gonna start this again. There is my last double. Chain three. Work three in here. Okay, now I've gotta to try to find a way to do this without making it look as ugly as that first try. That was hideous. a little cleaner a little neater okay and now I've got to put I'm guessing four into this one it's only a double I'm just gonna put three in there I don't think the stitch count really matters considering you can make these sprawl straps as long or as short as you want so I don't think the stitch count is that vital I don't see how it can be because they have no idea of knowing how the user of the pattern is going to work these straps. So this is the rest. This would only happen while I'm on camera. Yeah, I'm being fussy. <laughs> okay, here we go. Make 
one, two, three, and four. And then they don't say to make any chains, so you just jump right into the next chain four space and start working your four double crochet. There's a lot of humidity in the air because we've been having so much rain and living in the desert. Ooh, 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 ooh. So my yarn is feeling a little tacky. My skin is feeling a little tacky. <laughs> Not excuses, just explaining why I seem like I'm fussing with it a little bit extra. There we go. That's pretty. That's actually kind of pretty. I'll do one more and then I'll get off of here and work on this till I get to that center chain seven area where we do the zigzag, like where we connected the two halves together. I'm so excited. I'm getting so much closer to getting this done. But the sad part is I checked my um, Etsy, the things I bought on Etsy and their ribbon's going to be here probably tomorrow. They still haven't shipped the buttons. I bought those buttons on the 7th. It's now the 10th. It's been three days and they haven't shipped them. So that's kind of a bummer. I'm going to be waiting on those buttons. Oops, nope, no chains. No chains on this section at all. Just work your four double crochet all along this strap. And then when you get to the cups, because they are much smaller stitches. Not much, much smaller. Oops. Well, at this point here, they want you to start working three double crochet in each, in each side chain there. And to do that for 28 rows, or 28 times. And then two. Anyways, I'm not going to read on. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and work this part for now, and I'll be back when I'm done with this part. Okay? Okay, I have completed doing my uh, four double crochet in each of the endways, um, chain four spaces, which are these spaces like right here. Now it says to put three double crochet into this stitch. This is our double crochet row. I was completely off camera. Okay, that's three. And then it says to do three in each loop 23 times. I'll do a couple of them and then I'll come back whenever I'm completely done. And without chaining or anything, we just jump right over and put three in there. And I'll do this one and then I'll jump off of here and come back whenever I am done <clears throat> doing this 23 times. Okay. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm having one of those mornings, you know. Keeps us on our toes, though. Okay. Did I really undo that stitch? All right, you. Okay, let me count up 23. Thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three. Look at that, perfectly. All right here, twenty-three. I didn't bother doing it twenty-four times like it said to do here because I didn't do twenty-four rows. I did on this side thirty, so you know I just did thirty. Completely disregarded the rule. The, the rules, the pattern on that one, but I'm going to follow it stitch for stitch at this point until I get back around 
to my next buttonhole strap. Then I'm gonna do 32, because I have 32 rows on this one. Okay, so I'm gonna do these 23, and then I'll come back and we'll see what we do here on the cup and on the center portion. Okay, I've done the, th the side support area here. We're supposed to put three in each end loop, three double crochet. Um, let's see here, that was 23 times. Now we're gonna put two, yes, two treble in each space 28 times. That makes sense because this is our 28. We had to count 28 to st in order to start this. So we're gonna do this 28 times. And now we are, after that, we'll be in this section. And what do they want? 28 times, then three treble in the next row end loop on nine times. Oh yeah, nine rows of that. And then two in the connecting chain at the center. Ooh, just two? Trust the process, right? So two in the center. And then we just repeat everything again. We mirror everything for this side. So I'm gonna get us up to this point right here. Oops, get in frame, Karina. I'm gonna get us up to this point right here and then I'll be back. Okay, so here is where I'm at. I don't understand only putting two stitches there. It seems like when I come back around it might buckle, but we're gonna trust the process, right? So I completed the 28 here then we bumped it back up, to, and this was just two stitches per section or per space. Then we bumped it back up to three double crochet per space. I put two here in the connecting. Then I went ahead and started working back up this way, just mirror everything. So the next nine spaces, we do three. Then for the next 28, where we are gonna connect here, we just do two. Then here we do, along the side support, we do three in each space, and then ending with four in each space on our chain. So let's see, when we get to row two, okay, we are going to, first of all, chain four and turn, and then miss the first double, one double crochet in the next double. So I'm guessing we're not going to be working in the space but in the double, kind of like fillet crochet. One chain, miss, wait, maybe not. One chain, miss one treble, work one treble in the next treble, but it's saying to work in the treble, not in the space. Oh, but here they talk about working in the space. So maybe you are establishing spaces in this one here, like in fillet crochet, whenever you just, you make your little square spaces. I think that's what's happening here. And then you will be working in the spaces. Yes, in the space on round three and then round four, repeat round three and then round five. We're gonna be working in the spaces, round six, repeat round six, two, seven and eight. How many rows are there? Oh, there's nine rows. Okay, nine rows. Okay, well, I'm gonna continue to work on this. I'll come back one last time whenever I get to the end here. And then I start, I'll start row two, and then I'm going to leave that for my homework, and I'll see you guys tomorrow after that. But for right now, I'm going to go ahead and finish working on this, and then I'll come back, meet up with you again when I get to this point. Hey, I'm back. I've made it to the end of my button strap. Now let's see what it says to do here. We're going to chain four and turn. One, two, three, and four. Okay, now it says, miss the first double, so I have three here, miss the first double, and double crochet 
in the next. Did I even get it in there? It's kind of hard. These, these three are kind of jumbled, huh? There we go. And then it says to chain one, skip one. So we are making like a like a bracket round or bracket row here, like a fillet crochet. So skip one, make one. Chain one, skip one, make one. Of course, I'm referring to double crochets here. There we go. We're gonna do this all the way across. We don't have to worry about stitch count. If my stitches are off at the end, I'll, I'll fudge it and make it work. Because I did add extra rows and the rows aren't evenly added on, on each side. And so that might, that might make the last stitch like off. So if it is, I'll fudge it a little, it's okay. We're allowed to do that. So I'm gonna make a whole row of this and this is where I'm gonna end the video because row three is gonna be basically how we worked the cups. Where we're going to work in the spaces all the way across evenly. Row four will be the same as row three. Row five is gonna be one double in double space two double in next space. So row five, it looks like we're gonna do some increasing. And then row six, we're gonna drop it back down to what, we, what we're doing here in row two, where we're making like filet crochet. And eight and nine, we're gonna do like row three. So this'll be a wrap on this. I'm gonna go ahead and work on this off and on the rest of the day. But at this point, this is the last
Okay, well, I have only a few more rows of this to go, but the bra is basically done. It's on the mannequin. It does not fit her well because I made it more for my size. So as you can see, the cups are kind of coming off to the side. Bear in mind, I'm a size 14 large, extra large sometimes, depending on the maker. And this mannequin is a size extra small, small, so she's a size four and size six. So huge difference, but I mean, oh, look at that. <laughs> but this is the bra and it's just clipped in the back. So I'm, you know, I mean, I can show you a little bit of the back. It's mostly just clipped on there to keep it up. <laughs> But this is it. It's basically done. I'm going to finish the last um, four rows on here. I didn't feel there was any need to document that because it's just four rows of this over and over again. But this is it. It's done. I don't have my ribbon in. So I had to use some yarn to tie it on. I don't have my buttons. It's been five days since I bought my buttons and they still have not shipped at all. So that's that sucks. But... She looks a little dreary. She's not too pleased that her cups are jetting off to the side of her body. <laughs> but this is it. Um, perfect size for a C cup size large woman. Um, not perfect size for a, a B-ish cup, B cup size four, six tiny woman. But it is what it is. I think Miss Rosemary was correct. I think uh, I just needed to use a vastly smaller crochet hook much 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 smaller so you know we learn we teach each other things and she taught me that so there we go that's it as far as this goes it's a wrap but hold on I've got one more thing to show you that's coming up a little sneak peek into my next tutorial okay here is my next tutorial this is one of my own original designs I figured since fall is coming this is a really lovely fall winter top. It is intended to be worn with a camisole underneath this. I didn't put her camisole on her. I do have one that fits her. I probably should have put it on, but I didn't. So it is intended to be worn with a camisole or some kind of slip underneath. Um, but here is how this looks. Let me come around to the back. That's my front door. <laughs> so there it is. It's beautiful. I love the pinstriping. I love the lacy work and the best part is this size small extra small only requires one cake of five dollar yarn of this color and one cake of five dollar yarn of this color ten dollar top if you are my size we're talking mm, a twenty dollar top i would get two of each you know uh it's still twenty dollar top you wouldn't you wouldn't expect to go into a high-end store or even a department store and pay twenty dollars for that in my opinion then again i may be biased but there it is i love it there we go there's my doggy's toy <laughs> And I have a video upcoming. Now that I am on YouTube, I need some filming space because I've been kind of filming on my dinner table, which just doesn't give me the right vibes. And I've been filming on my couch, which is very comfortable, but I don't have a lot of arm room. So I'm about to show you the shocker. Uh, I know I'm not the only crocheter or knitter that has this, but here is my everything I've been making tutorials <laughs> all of the, here's her camisole I should have put that on her but all the tutorials that I've been making as of late the little bag and the cell phone then we come to my yarn stash oh yes this is behind the couch my yarn stash it is all all yarn all of it 100% of it except for this that I bought for a beauty you know I wanted to put it above my vanity it never made it up there uh, yeah this is all yarn this is all crochet thread in here oh boy <laughs> and then 
Um, back here in these canvas bags is all craft fair stuff. And here is more craft fair, craft fair stuff. And you know, fall's coming. I, I really love this pineapple stitch. This is a, be a bathing suit cover up. See, because I live in the desert, I mean, I live in Arizona and not just any old part of Arizona. We live about 30, 35 minutes from Death Valley. So we live in the hottest, most arid region of Arizona. And we stop all outdoor activities um, by the end of spring. So I tried selling as many of these as possible before summer hit. And during summer, I try to sell on Facebook, but I usually have better luck at craft fairs. So this has set all summer because we don't do anything around here in the summertime. <clears throat> Our summertime starts in the winter. It starts in the midfall and in the winter. But this is, oh yeah, I've got two more things here of all yarn. This is all, all Karen Simply Soft. A whole box full of Karen Simply Soft. This is a box of projects. And <clears throat> here's one of my projects. I almost sold out of these. Bathing suit tops, bikini tops. Um, you know, American flag bikini tops, and this is projects and yarn projects. And then, of course, don't mind. Look, my dog, you're gonna see some things on the carpet. My dog has a problem with paper towel rolls. When he gets a hold of them, the empty cardboard, he tears them up. I do my best to pick them up, but sometimes I'm just too busy. So, you're gonna see a bit of that. See, little cardboard. I need to get it. This is my couch stash of projects and whatnot. There's the little culprit. Um, so yeah, he's got from his toy, little little bits of cotton. <laughs> That's just my Merlin. Okay, so here we go. Next tutorial coming up. It won't be for a good week. I've only got one panel made. This is made up in panels. For the small, extra small, it's a total of 12 whole panels, but all of this will be explained in the tutorial. So I've only got one panel made right now. So I've got to finish making the panels, and I've got to start on the shoulder muff and the, and the hem. Once I get those almost done, I can go ahead and complete my tutorial. So there we go. Not exactly a, a massive bra reveal. Um, it was fun making it and it was so fun talking to all you girls in the comment well, all you girls both of you lovely ladies in the comments but maybe by now all you girls um and thanks again rosemary for your kindness and your friendship during this journey and i hope you guys tune in for this one affordable as heck honestly affordable as heck uh, it's only ten dollars for these small extra small i would say medium large is going to be twenty dollars worth of yarn still super affordable okay guys i'll talk to you all later bye girl <laughs>